in the memory of late Mrs. Alka Hemant Patil. We are glad to present our audio articles for inspiring disabled persons to achieve greater heights in their career. Under the project of Client Service Department of National Association for the Blind, India, to empower the disabled in tribal, rural and semi-urban areas of our country. Indelible memory, Mrs. Rahmat Fadlabhoi in the service of mankind. Memories are a part of living creatures' mind, especially in case of human beings. They play various roles in the development of the personality in every walks of life. Memories also play an important role while creating impressions about the situations they face. The horizon of memories is so wide that it leads to infinity. When I lost my vision at a young age of 26, I came in contact with Mrs. Rahmat Fadlabhoi. I remained in her contact for long time till she was attached with NAB, India. Her style of working in the field of disabled welfare had a great impact on my development after the onset of blindness. When I wanted to develop my career in disabled welfare activity, the idols in front of me were Mother Teresa, Mrs. Rahmat Fadlabhoi and Jyoti Patkar. I hope the article will be effective in building the career of many more professionals engaging themselves in serving the noble cause of humanity i.e. Disabled Welfare when the National Association for the Blind, India, NAB, I, was in the process of developing after its establishment in our country. A lady came in the form of a prophet for the needy visually impaired, blind, persons. The personality was known by the name of Rahmat Fajlabhoi. She was fully dedicated to the cause of the disabled. She was a versatile persona with the ability of a best-skilled counsellor public communicator with a convincing ability and specialist in imbibing her novel ideas to the donors, professionals, and service providers. She was easily able to access the needs of disabled community and was eager to start the services for the neglected and uncared persons. For them she was a representative of universal motherhood with full of sympathy. She was an icon of sympathy, integrity, and generosity and full of a sense of equality. She was a hardcore decision-maker for the ideas she planned to work on with consistent follow-up of the matter. She was a struggling persona and highly ambitious for the course with her impressive super-talented personality. She was in touch with many well-known personalities who were dedicated to contribute in the service to the humanity i.e. disabled welfare. Due to the contribution of Mrs. Fadlabhoi in the cause of promoting blind welfare in our country today's blind persons can achieve greater heights in establishing their careers such as IT, engineers, software developers, physiotherapists, IS officer, doctors, international sportsperson, legal advisor, directors, executives, and businessmen. Blind persons were living on charity in the past are today taxpayers and contributing in the development of our country to greater heights. Miss Fajlaboy was born in a rich family with a silver spoon in her mouth. By birth she was suffering from albinism, due to which her vision was affected with short-sightedness. The family was not able to understand her problem fully and to cope with it in proper manner. Her father used to say that, Somehow or other you undergo education to the best possible level and come to live independently. With that intention he admitted her to the school. Where she was not able to read the blackboard due to her short-sightedness, Rahmat was an intellectual person, cunning and striving for the betterment with high determination. Due to the friendly nature of Rahmat with her class fellows and the teachers she was able to manage her study. At last Rahmat completed her high school education. After completing her education her uncle offered her a job in his company named Radio Corporation of America. She was handling inward and outward correspondence of the company and maintaining the registers. She continued with the job for three years. The senior manager of the company Mr. Doreswami was observing Rahmat closely. He understood Rahmat's intelligence and abundant capacity to shoulder greater responsibilities. He offered her the responsibility of publicity manager in the same company. She was discharging her duties very well. 
During the whole period of her job she was always thinking that I want to settle my life independently without support and protection of my family and relatives. Meanwhile she tried to search for employment opportunities in private companies but her visual impairment became a hurdle in grabbing them which frustrated her and made her uncomfortable. Her father sent her to the United Kingdom on a long vacation. She tried to seek a job there. Two private firms invited her for an interview but there also her visual impairment became a hurdle. One day in the frustrated mood she was walking on the road along with her friend. Her friend drew her attention to the Royal National Institute for the Blind which was across the road. Rahmat visited the institute where she met Mr John the international director. She explained to him her life story and asked his advice for building her career in the future. He advised her to learn braille script and undergo the diploma course for teacher for the blind. He also introduced her to Mr John Wilson, the head of the institute. Both of them were blind persons and discharged their duties at the best. Rahmat also met with other employees of the institute which helped her in developing her confidence through which she can achieve her goal to build the best career independently. She appeared for the diploma and became the first trained teacher for the blind in India. After returning back to India she came in contact with adverb Rustam Alpaiwala, Dr Rajendra Vyas and Mr Jaswala. In 1950 to the National Association for the Blind India was established and the whole group was in the process of developing services for the blind persons welfare and empowerment in India on solid foundation Ms Fajlaboy joined the group and started to take initiative in the process actively No doubt Mr Lewis Braille has opened the doors for the blind people's education by developing the braille script for reading and writing by the blind persons This inspired many blind to undergo education but the scope of it was limited throughout the world In India hardly a few people were aware about it and they learned the script Mr Neelkant Ray Chhatrapati learned it and developed the script in Devanagari Gujarati language and started to teach it to the blind inmates admitted to his institute Ms Rahmat Fajlaboy took initiative in undergoing education of the blind persons throughout our country In 1954 Ms Fajlaboy came in contact with three blind children They were Master Navshil Gazhar Master Nitin Vasudev and Master Rajendra Singh Shetty She met their families and counseled them to admit the children in the normal school successfully Those days to have the admission of a blind child in normal school were highly impossible Mrs Fajlaboy contacted the management of New Activity School Grant Road Mumbai and convinced them to give admission to the children in their school. She also assured them to support them for solving the problems faced by the blind student undergoing education in the school at the cost of NAB India and also regularly follow the support services and if they felt that something is urgent then they can contact her on phone and she would be at their service at the earliest. Prior to that Blind children used to undergo education in special school for the visually impaired. Usually where the blind children were given hostel facilities, there used to be a shelter building where the educational, residential, sports and recreational facilities were provided. The blind children were kept totally protected and isolated from their family and society where they were born and grown up. Majority of the blind children admitted to the special schools were from the lower strata of the society. Many of them were from villages, tribal areas and semi-urban pockets in the vicinity of the school. During their developmental process in the school they lacked competitive spirit with the society which hampered the development and career building of the children. When the three children admitted by Mrs Fajlaboy in the normal school completed their education The result astonished and surprised the professionals in the field. Mr Navshil completed his masters in law LLM and he joined as a legal advisor to Tata. Nitin Vasudev completed his masters in social work and he also underwent four modern management training courses with this and joined Voltas India as a modern management expert. Thereafter he himself established his own agency Tarun Management Services.
Mr. Rajendra Singh was not only blind but also hearing impaired. The efforts of Mrs. Fajlaboy were highly influenced by the professionals working for the blind throughout our country. They wanted to develop the system in their districts and states hence they contacted NAB India and wished to form a district state branch of NAB India. This resulted in the development of NAB India by establishing more and more state district branches throughout our country. Mrs. Fajlabo's contribution with the missionary zeal and full participation in the developing activities of blind welfare had provided her important position in the Executive Council of NAB India and various committees developed for promoting blind welfare activities. She was a good fundraiser too. She had established her contacts with prominent personalities, professionals and highly influential personnel. She was capable of raising any amount of funds for the purpose of promoting schemes for the disabled. In 1954 NAB India developed a committee for employment and placement of the blind. The committee's appreciable contribution in providing employment self-employment to the blind attracted many volunteers to contribute in the cause. Mrs Fajlaboy handed over the charge to promote its activity. Mrs Fajlaboy has successfully worked on it and also collected volunteers to work on the project. She judged that Mrs Piludi Khambata is an ideal person to work on the project and she gracefully handed over the charge to her. She is also responsible for bringing Mr S V Bijal to work for the cause. As integrated education was developing in our country the needs of the educating blind students were increased especially availability of braille textbooks and audio recorded textbooks Mrs Fajlaboy took up the challenging task on her shoulder American Foundation for Overseas Blind USA have donated NAB India a braille printing machine along with the equipment and accessories for developing a braille printing press in India In 1958 NAB India established the first braille printing press at MNB Industrial Home at Jogeshwari Mumbai Mrs Fajlaboy raised the funds for purchasing braille printing papers to a large extent which enabled NAB India to provide braille textbooks to the students at highly concessional rates Then Mrs Fajlaboy concentrated on developing audio recorded educational material for the blind students for which she organized a group of volunteers to record the study material for the blind children but the efforts were limited and the number of needy blind students was increasing day by day hence nab india constituted a committee for developing a talking book center for the blind the charge of the committee was handed over to mrs fajlaboy she raised the required funds for developing a talking book recording center for the sole use of the blind and established the center in 1963 at mumbai in the future it develops into the largest talking book recording and distribution center in our country they also established a talking book library which recorded books in a number of languages and distributed it to the needy blind in our country and overseas too While running the project when Mrs Fajlaboy judged that Mrs Freni Ghagrat to be the best person to run the activity efficiently she handed over the charge to her As the integrated education of the blind children was progressing day by day Mrs Fajlaboy was closely observing the project Her attention was drawn to the pre-education training of the blind children before admission to the normal schools She developed a strategy and met with the management of Mata Lakshmi Hospital at Sion, Mumbai. She successfully involved them into bringing her strategy into a reality. They set up a Mata Lakshmi nursery for the blind children on 15th August 1969 at Sion, Mumbai. The nursery was started with the residential facilities for the children where ideal diet, health, developmental facilities pre-educational training and best rearing facilities were provided under protective surroundings of the specially trained professionals these facilities have shown better results in the blind children taking admission in normal schools one day while crossing the pedestrian bridge at kurla railway station mrs fajlaboy saw a lady begging with a 3 years old blind child with compassion and pain she contacted her and inquired about the child 
After understanding the sympathetic condition of the family she convinced her to admit her child in the Mata Lakshmi nursery so that her child can be educated in better surroundings free of cost and get a job in the future which could fetch the family out of poverty She herself took them to the nursery and admitted the child there According to the practice of the nursery on the weekend the child was handed over to her mother and asked her to bring him back on Monday but she never turned up with the child after 4 months mrs fajlabhoi was crossing the same bridge she again saw the women begging with the same child she rushed towards her and was shocked to see the same blind child amputated with his left arm and right leg upon inquiry with the woman she explained that our family was surviving on the alms which they were receiving while begging with the child but Our family have a lot of financial problems after admitting him in the nursery. Due to the disabled child I am protected from the rowdy peoples of our footpath locality. It is a tragedy of poor footpath dwellers. Hence we amputated his leg and arm so that nobody can take my child to the nursery and deprive our family of safety and starvation. In 1969 Mrs Fajlaboy organized an international conference on educational aid available for the educating blind at Mata Lakshmi Hospital 36 representatives from international community participated and collaborated in the conference One of them was a representative of the Perkins School for the Blind USA In this conference aids for the blind were exhibited along with the method of using them This enabled our country to order and get useful equipment for educating and developing blind. Due to the initiative of Mrs. Fajlabhoi in the field of education, NAB India constituted a committee for education of the blind under the chairmanship of Mr. Jaswala in 1961. The committee works on the project to the satisfactory extent. Then the committee was reformed in 1972 under the chairmanship of Mrs. Prabha Rao. then the minister of education and planning the state of maharashtra the efforts of the committee have spread over the move of educating blind children in the remote corners of the country too due to the continued efforts of mrs fajlabhoi in the field of education of the blind nab india was appointed first education officer in 1980 in the same year they formed new committee for promoting the education of the visually impaired in india under the efficient chairmanship of mrs madhuri ben shah Mrs Fajlaboy shouldered the charge as an honorary secretary of the committee. In 1980 to NAB India developed Rustom Alpaiwala complex RAC at Cotton Green Mumbai. It developed the NAB education department where all activities of the education of the blind throughout our country were monitored. NAB Department of Education D.O.T has started a training center for educating its itinerant teachers working for blind children. This provided diploma training to teachers from all corners of our country and the education process for blind children strengthened. The needy areas of our country were also provided educational aids for the blind. They also started to sell aids and appliances for the blind. They also organized regional training programs for the professionals working in the field with specially trained professionals of NAB India. As the program was going Mrs Fajlaboy noted that along with the blind children there are a large number of blind children with multiple disabilities she could not let the problem go unsolved she contacted other agencies working on a national and international level for the welfare of children with multiple disabilities such as sense international and with their collaboration she initiated training a team of teachers at nabrak and initiated the scheme of educating blind children with multiple disabilities she collected essential funds to support deserving agencies financially for implementing the program in remote areas of our country In 1959 NAB India had planned to publish a quarterly magazine named Blind Welfare. The magazine published articles on the professionals working in the field of blind welfare, medical and health professional, ophthalmic professionals, etc from the national and international levels. Mrs Fajlaboy shouldered the responsibility of the editor of the magazine and it became famous on the national and international level. In 1982 Mrs Fajlaboy convinced NAB India to start a Louis Braille Memorial Research Center at NABRAC. 
The first project was taken by the Center for Common Braille Code for developing and using the Devnagari languages in our country. Prior to that the different institutions, NAB LBMRC has developed a research and development workshop at NAB RAC in which aids and appliances for the blind persons were developed. They also collected a large number of aids and appliances for the blind from national and international levels and developed the Amar Sons Museum at NAB RAC. During the International Decade of the Disabled announced by the United Nations during 1983-1992, NAB LBMRC took a leading role in establishing NAB's Committee on United Nations Decades for Disabled Persons. The committee works on initiating various services for the welfare of the disabled and implementing them in our country in a time bomb manner. NAB LBMRC also developed a low vision center for the blind persons at NAB Workshop for the Blind, Worli, Mumbai. Through this center, the needed client was examined and provided necessary aids and appliances and treatment if necessary free of cost, they also printed large print books for the benefit of low vision persons. Mrs. Fajlabo shouldered the responsibility of the Department of Education and the LBMRC for a few years then while working on it she found a suitable person to take charge of the activity like a Professor M. Y. B. Day. She handed over the charge of the secretaryship and released herself to provide attention to the other project. In 1982, Mrs. Fajlaboy developed the Abdullah Fajlaboy Center for Eye Care at NAB RAC. Through this center, examinations, treatment, and medicines were provided to the needy visually impaired persons. They also provided low vision aids to needy ones. Needy and deserving blind person's surgery were also conducted free of cost. Mrs. Fajlaboy collected the necessary fund for running the activity in coordination with the faculties along with the team of optical surgeons, optics, and other professionals. Mrs. Fajlaboy developed NAB All India Revenue Unit in 1982 at NAB RAC. The unit successfully collected a lot of funds from all over India from promoting NAB's blind welfare activities. The charge of the unit was handed over to Mr. and Mrs. Donald. Mrs. Fajlaboy has an active role in the collection of funds for NAPS India activating through the Finance Raising Committee set up in Fort Mumbai. She has done some extraordinary things which really worked very much to collect funds one of which was the matchbox competition under this scheme the students in the schools were provided donation collection forms along with the empty matchbox. They were told either to collect a maximum fund on the form or to collect a maximum no of items in the provided empty matchbox. The ones who will be successful in the venture were awarded a special prize by the auspicious hands of the cine actors in a grand organized function. The school collecting a large amount of funds were also awarded in the function. The scheme was very successful throughout our country and internationally. During those days many people from the higher state of society used to go to Pune to attend horse races. Mrs. Fajlaboy has worked on involving them in the cadre of donors to India and developing the grand project of the classic Pune Derby Stakes Day Plus special train from Mumbai to Pune. The train was luxurious with recreational facilities with the best quality food. The travelers were highly charged for traveling on the train during Derby days. During the journey cine stars, mimicry specialists, and magicians also attracted a large number of travelers on the train. They were also provided with the best luxurious accommodation in Pune. Many travelers also voluntarily donated a lucrative amount of donation to NAB India. This project was very famous and created publicity in society about the activities of NAB India too. In 1988, Mrs. Fajlaboy took up another project golf tournament to the blind. The tournaments were organized in Mumbai and Pune and many national and international golf players participated in the events. The famous golfer Shri Ron Tomlinson and his brother drew the attention of the golfers in India a lot. Mrs. Fajlaboy was also an initiator of the Light Alight and each one teach one projects of fundraising to benefit funding of blind children undergoing education. Both the schemes were successful in having impact on the donors who willingly contributed a lot of amount to promote the cause throughout our nation.
In 2007, Mrs. Fajlaboy was attached to the Blind Persons Association Mumbai. She was influenced by the activities of the Association for the Benefit of the Poor and Needy Visually Impaired Hawkers, Unemployed Self Employed Blind Persons, and Downtrodden During Natural Calamities. Hence, she initiated an extraordinary project car rally for the blind persons. During the rally for every participating car driver, there used to be a blind person. A minute before starting the rally, the organizer handed over a booklet printed in Braille script. The blind person has to read and give instructions to the driver to drive the car. The winners participating in the rally were given attractive prizes. The Seat Tires had sponsored the first car rally for the blind in coordination with motor racing clubs in India. The project was very much successful in collecting a lot of funds for the benefit of the blind persons. This project also became a very famous one as a fundraising activity nationally and internationally. It has created lot of a junk of awareness towards blindness in the society. Whenever Mrs. Fajlabu plans a strategy for promoting disabled welfare activities, she plays an active role in the formation of the committee. She used to include the professionals related to the field, donors and service providers, as well as voluntary dedicated workers to promote the cause. A few names of such contributors are Mrs. Nasrullah, Mrs. Nariman, Mrs. Nanavati, Mrs. Queenie Captain, Mr. Bijur and Mr. Tabakovala. Due to the successful activities of Mrs. Fajlabhoi NAB, India's management used to support her decision. When NAB, India was in need of collecting large amounts of donations for constructing NAB workshop for the blind at Worli, Mumbai. After laying down the foundation stone by the auspicious hands of Ms. Helen Keller and constructing NAB head office complex at Worli Sea Face, Mumbai, NAB Rustom Alpaiwala complex at Cotton Green, Mumbai and NAB home for the aging blind, Khandala, Pune and NAB IDBI Polytechnic at Anand Nagar, Ambednath, Thane. Mrs. Fajlabhoi played a major role in collecting a large sum of donations. The charismatic personality with magnetic effect was able to transform her ideas on the mindset of the donors within no time. Her convincing power was unlimited by which she used to take them to her own way. This made her a very successful fundraiser. When Mrs. Fajlaboy had been to the United Kingdom, she had the opportunity to visit one of the largest fighter ships of the UK British Ark Royal. She had a lot of discussion with the British naval officials regarding availing such a great opportunity to the blind people in India whenever the ship comes to Mumbai dockyard. After a gap of long years, in 1988 when the ship arrived at Mumbai dockyard the officials contacted Mrs. Rahmat Fajlabhoi on the phone and requested her to bring the blind at Mumbai dock on the same day at 3 p.m. to visit the warship. Immediately Mrs. Fajlaboy called me and instructed me to gather as many blind persons for the visit in the specified time. I could bring 36 blind persons to visit the warship. The ship was armed with 8 fighter aircrafts and 8 fighter helicopters along with 2,500 naval soldiers and commandos. They took us all around the ship and explained everything to us by touching our hands. At the end of the visit they gave us an opportunity to discuss it with the naval soldiers too. It was an immemorial experience in our lives by the grace of Mrs. Fajlabhoi. NAB, India has organized workshops and conferences on national and international level to promote blind welfare activities in India. Mrs. Fajlaboy has contributed a lot in collecting donations for organizing them and inviting professionals. The conferences are 1. Second All India Conference for the Blind in Mumbai 1959 2. Fourth Asian Conference on Work for the Blind 1973 3. NAP Silver Jubilee Third All India Conference on Work for the Blind 1977 4. National Seminar on the Role of Science and Technology 1981 5. International Seminar on Educational and Rehabilitation Aids for the Blind 1970 6. National Conference on Low Vision 1998 7. National Conference on Rehabilitation, Care and Support Services for the Patient with Multiple Sclerosis 1985
Mrs. Fajraboy was also capable of collecting donations for deputing NAB officials for attending workshops, conferences, and trainings on international level. She pioneered the Multiple Sclerosis Society of India, MSSI. Mrs. Fajlaboy shouldered the charge of host secretary of the society and collected a large sum of donations for promoting the activity throughout our country. She traveled from cities to cities and developed the services throughout our country. This successful venture of Mrs. Fajlaboy has connected with the international multiple sclerosis societies too. This made her famous throughout the world and in many underdeveloped and developing countries the victims of multiple sclerosis also got the benefit of the services and they got a sigh of relief. This is the one of the most creditable contribution of Mrs. Fajlaboy in serving the noble cause of humanity. One day while promoting the activity Mrs. Fajlaboy was walking on the road of Banaras, a state of Uttar Pradesh. She saw a woman artist drawing and painting pictures on the roadside and selling them. She was overwhelmed by looking at her art and recognized the talents of the artist. She spent some time listening to the lifetime story of the artist who was Shela. She gave her invitation to come to Mumbai with the collection of her paintings and promised her to organize their exhibitions. When Shela came to Mumbai, Mrs. Fajlaboy organized the exhibitions in a number of colleges of Mumbai and Jahangir Art Gallery. The artist could collect a large sum of money from the exhibitions, so that in 1993 she donated a percentage of her income, i.e., rupees 1 lakh, to promote the activities of MSSI. The dream of Mrs. Fajlaboy to serve the cause of humanity, especially for the neglected and uncared, and the abundance major activities established to serve them with the tireless continuous efforts under the banner of NAB. India and MSSI have set up an unique example to the executive councils and managements who are working or planning to work in the field of disabled welfare, which imprinted her footprints on the horizon forever. One must learn a lesson from her stories how to dedicate ourselves with missionary zeal to the cause and every beneficiary of this field must bow their head to the contribution of Mrs. Rahmat Fajlaboy. The grand non-stop efforts of Mrs. Fajlaboy has drawn us out of darkness and uplift us in the modern age with the right image of the career builders have a tremendous impact on human resource development of our country in spite of our disabilities. For the great work of Mrs. Fajlaboy Jamnalal Bajaj Foundation, Mumbai had graced her by Janki Devi Bajaj Award for her contribution in the upliftment and welfare of women and children. She was a lady with a sense of equality. Mrs. Fajlaboy image have a permanent space in our hearts that had been ever in contact with her during his or her lifetime and have her indelible memory. Hemant J. Patil Honorary Secretary National Association for the Blind, India